Hello, thank you for joining to watch another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Well, today is Saturday, August 8th, 2020, and I wanted to make another video for all of you who are supporting my channel. And if not, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and like this video. All right, so I wanted to make this video to share with you three tickers that will add value to your investment portfolio. But before I begin, as usual, I like to let you know that the information I'm sharing with you should be used as guidance only. All right, so now let's get started. Now, ticker number one is going to be VBI vaccine. Ticker number two will be a genus by the ticker AGEN. And ticker number three will be genetic technologies by ticker GENE. -E. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, ticker number one. I pulled up the company website here and it goes by VBI Vaccines. This company is headquartered in Massachusetts in Cambridge and it does have research operations in Israel and also in Ottawa, Canada as well supporting the hepatitis B vaccines. And I know that in Israel, the one of the products there have already been in commercial distribution in the European markets for the hep B vaccines. Okay, now VBIB to me is a solid company to consider investing in because the current share price is hovering at around $4. And if you were to buy now and if you park your money there, you can potentially earn on you know, positive proceeds once the company goes up into the double digit range in share price. Okay, now I wanted to go over to the development programs of VBI vaccines just to give you an overview of what we're dealing with here. So now, as you can see, they're working on infectious diseases. There's the hepatitis B prophylaxis issue where they have the product Cyb vaccine, and that's actually approved for use and commercially distributed around Israel. And there is a plant site in Israel to support with the production. And that explains why we see what we see here on this screen. All right. And What's surprising is that phase three has been completed in the United States, the European markets, as well as in Canada, as you can see here. So I foresee, you know, marketing to occur within our state as well. Now we also have the Hep B therapeutic VBI 2601 that is in the phase two, phase three. Okay. And then we have the cytometagolomavirus VBI V1501 phase one is complete. So we foresee a bigger research study happening in phase two and also the VBI 2901 that's in preclinical and then the Zika virus that's in preclinical studies as well. So that that's just shows you right there. There's a, a number of pre-approved vaccines that are supporting infectious diseases also in immuno oncology as well. Here you can see VBIV 1901 that's in phase two clinical trial. So that's, you know, being tested on hundreds of patients, unhealthy patients with the glioblastoma multiformal issue and also the VBIV 2701 that's currently in preclinical trials. Now, as you can see here, there's a number of different products that are currently being worked on right now. And I foresee that, you know, this company will take off and it's also supporting one of the COVID-19 uh, viruses as well. So this company will, in the long run, increase in its share price. All right, I don't want to spend so much time on VBIV vaccines, but I wanted to jump on the other two tickers. So now I'm going to go ahead and transition to a genus, okay, by the ticker AGNE. All right, so what what's so unique about a genus? Let's go over to the about us. Okay, so a genus discovers, manufactures and develops immuno-oncology products. The company's portfolio is comprised of checkpoint antibodies, cell therapies, vaccines, adjuvants, representing a combination of synergistic agents to deliver curative patient outcomes. So as you can see, that's the mission of the company here. All right, I don't want to spend so much time on this page. I just wanted to go over to the pipeline here. Now, a genus is targeting multiple mechanisms to fight multiple cancers and targeting single agents and combination therapy. So now let's look at some of the, the products that they have. All right, so they have the age GEN1884 to 2034 being supported, you know, by Greater China as well, and that's in phase two clinical trials. We also have the multi-purpose second generation CTLA with the product name of a gene one one eight one that's in phase looks like phase one two. 
We also have other sorts of tests here for macrophage testing as well. Macrophage in biology is considered like a, a, a bad word. So there's a test for that. Okay, so cytokine uh, tests as well as regulatory T cell depletion testing. So as you can see, there's a number of different tests here that Agenius is supporting as well as the COVID-19 here. So I think this one is the big one here, the Agent US product with the product name of AGNT797. And I think this may be the, the hard hitter run right here that is currently in the uh, preclinical trials. All right, and this may be one of the reasons why the share price has been shooting up significantly. I was suggesting this company at around $2 and I foresee this easily to break beyond the $4 range and if not more, okay? All right, so let me go to the next ticker, which is genetic technologies. All right, so what's so unique about genetic technologies? This company is based in Australia, and I believe they're like the, the world-class leaders in gene technologies for diagnostic testing for cancers, diseases, and chronic diseases. All right, and let's look at their mission. To improve health outcomes for people around the world by providing individuals and their physicians with the risk assessment tools to develop personalized health management plans for early detection and treatment of chronic disease. To continually strive to maintain our standing as a global leader in genomics by investing in our research capabilities by forming partnerships with experts from world-class organizations. I know that this company was previously hovering at a very low share price, maybe like less than a dollar, and just recently it shot up up to like six, seven dollars, and now it's hovering back to the four dollar range, creating its uh, support level. But I feel like this company, the fact that it's one of the world leaders in genetic sequencing for diagnostic testing support, to support clinicians to make better risk assessment of their patient outcomes, then I foresee this company to grow in the long term by working with you know the United States, Australia, and European markets as well as Asia.